The captivating storylines, characters, and visuals aren't the only things that make Final Fantasy fantastical. The music is out of this world. It's so popular. Orchestras have toured internationally performing sets from this JRPG series, and now it's time to listen to the best of the best. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Final Fantasy songs and themes. They granted my wish. Your wish? For this top 10, we're looking at some of the most iconic, well-known, and well-loved tracks from the main series. We're looking at the songs that truly captured the moment and that would be stuck in our heads for years to come. Naturally, with a series as prolific as this one, narrowing down a list of 10 was no easy feat, especially seeing as most recent games had over 100 music tracks. So keep in mind that we're giving priority to the truly iconic songs that scream Final Fantasy, but not literally. Number 10, Terra's Theme, Final Fantasy VI. Kicking off the list is the theme of Final Fantasy VI's beloved protagonist, Tara Branford. Hearing it for the first time as the brainwashed Imperial soldier marches across the Narsh snowfields in her Magitek armor is downright haunting, and sets the mood perfectly for the game. The piece is melancholic at times, hopeful at others, and perfectly encapsulates the mysterious half-Esper and her journey in one of the most timeless RPGs of the series. Number 9. You're Not Alone. Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX earns a reputation for being on the lighter and funnier side of the spectrum. But when it wants to do pathos, Final Fantasy IX goes hard. Maybe it's because we're so used to seeing Zidane being upbeat and cheerful that this scene, and its accompanying piece of music, is so powerful. It's an intense moment of introspection for the protagonist, as he learns the truth about who he is, and you're not alone fits the mood to a T. Number 8, Dancing Mad, Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI may be one of the most musically ambitious games ever. Need proof? Just listen to its final boss theme. A nearly 20 minute long piece divided into four movements, synchronized with the boss's four forms, getting more and more insane as it goes on, which sounds just about right for a villain like Kefka. It's the longest battle theme in the series, and by far, one of the most epic. Number 7, One Winged Angel. Final Fantasy VII. Speaking of super epic final boss themes, it's the most iconic final boss theme for the most iconic final boss. Featuring a Latin choir, making it the first time actual voices were heard in Final Fantasy game, and played during one of the most memorable battles in the series. Sephiroth's one-winged anthem is as beloved to gamers as the one-winged angel himself. Number 6. Theme of Love, Final Fantasy IV. If 
you can imagine it, Final Fantasy IV was actually a significant step up in RPG storytelling. And at the center of the story of Moon Visitors and Spoonie Bards was the budding romance of Cecil and Rosa, one of the series' first canon couples. Sure, it was a pretty standard love story, but for a 1991 Super Nintendo RPG, it was pretty darn sweet. And its sweetness is captured in this theme song, which has come to represent the game as a whole. Number 5. Opera. Maria and Draco, Aria de Mezzo Carater, Final Fantasy VI. So let's say that, hypothetically, Dancing Mad didn't convince you that Final Fantasy VI is a musical masterpiece. In that case, look no further than Maria and Draco, a complete opera coming out of the Super Nintendo's primitive sound systems. It has singable lyrics, four impressive movements, and a whole lot of character. And if you're still not convinced, then there may not be hope for you at all. Number 4. Clash on the Big Bridge. Final Fantasy V. Running for your life with a horde of monsters on your heels in a strange alien world has never been so fun thanks to one of the catchiest jams in Final Fantasy history. Not only does it intensify this already epic sequence from Final Fantasy V, but it's come to be known as the theme of Gilgamesh, one of the goofiest and most memorable recurring characters in the series. And every time he appears, so too does this epic theme appearing in as more recent as Final Fantasy XIV. Number 3. The Promise. Final Fantasy XIII. Even when the man behind the music, Nobuo Wumatsu, passed the reins on to a new team for a new generation of Final Fantasy, they still delivered on all fronts. Featuring vocals by Francis Maya, this melancholic and sentimental piece serves as the main theme for Final Fantasy XIII, and as the character theme for Lightning's sister Sarah. Whether you love 13 or hate it, you can't deny that that's some pretty music. Number 2, Aerith's Theme, Final Fantasy VII. Don't worry, take a second to compose yourself. It's hard to argue this one. Matching one of the most emotional scenes in the series' history with one of the most emotional pieces of music ever composed, and you can be sure you've made an impression on the hearts of gamers everywhere. As soon as those first familiar piano notes start playing, gamers everywhere know to grab a tissue, remembering the sweet, loving flower girl from Sector 5. Before we reveal our top pick, 
Here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Tizanarkand Final Fantasy X It wasn't an easy pick, but here we are, the main theme of Final Fantasy X, and the very first thing you hear before starting your unforgettable journey through Spira. If you hadn't noticed by now, Emotion counts for a lot in making a piece of music work, and the haunting, lonely melody of To Zanarkand has emotion in spades. And once you get to the actual moment in the story, you start to really understand the tune's emotional impact. We can all agree that there's nothing quite like starting a new Final Fantasy, and being sent off with this magical theme promises an adventure like no other. Do you agree with our list? What other Final Fantasy themes have been stuck in your head? For more magnificent top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs>